As more and more people are installing the Android 11 update on their Google Pixel smartphone, we're getting a number of reports about various first-party applications that are becoming very laggy and have ruined the user experience from just not even being able to work right. Over the last month, I've seen a number of comments in the Google Pixel subreddit talking about things like after they have updated their Google Pixel 3a and their Google Pixel 4a, their camera, the stock Google camera, is just ruined. Either the, the update has made it to where it just lags constantly, the, there's some that's talking about it just crashing completely, not only that, but are also seeing a number of comments talking, again, usually about the lower CPU spectrum of the Pixel devices. So again, the 3A and the 4A series, that their smartphone and their Chrome install has actually, again, been very laggy, sometimes freezing, crashing completely. A lot of people have suggested switching browsers over to Firefox over to Chrome Beta, even to Microsoft Edge. So we're seeing a lot of people that have updated to Android 11 on their Google Pixel smartphone, but have come across these various type of issues. So I want to offer a couple of recommendation suggestions, because I know people hate hearing the uh, troubleshooting step of perform a factory data reset. But that's usually the best case scenario because it will it's quick, it's easy, and it almost 100% will fix these type of weird issues. However, we don't have to do that. There are some ways to fix these issues by going into the application properties, the application settings of these apps, and wiping out the data and the cache for them. So there are a couple of ways that we can actually attempt to fix these type of issues both with Chrome, both with the Google camera, and really any other first party or third party application that you may have installed that you've noticed is now ruined from the Android 11 update. And to start that we're just going to need to go into the settings application. And then you're going to want to look for and tap on the apps and notification settings option. And then from here we can tap on the see all apps option right here. So in most cases you're going to find the application you're having issues with right from within here. Whether it's Chrome or whether it is the Google camera. you're going to find those applications right within here. So say you're having issues with Chrome, we're going to tap on the Chrome application. And then we're going to tap on the storage and cache option right here. From here you should see two buttons, a clear cache and a clear storage. The first thing I would recommend doing is clearing the cache, just the simple clear cache option wipes out the cache for that application. Now we can press the home button, go back into our Chrome application, and try to use it again to see if that fixes the issue. The same if we're having issues with the camera. Go into the camera, tap on storage and cache, and tap that clear cache button. Sometimes there are some corruption with the cache, there are some conflicts with the storage that you have stored in the, in the cache. That it's just a good idea a, as a troubleshooting step to clear the cache of any type of application you're having issues with. And again, we would press the home button, go into the camera, and see if that fixed the issue. If it did, great. And then we can go about our business. If not, we can go back through these steps, open up the settings app, go through the apps and notifications section, find that app again, go back into the storage and cache section, 
and this time clear the cache for that app and then clear the data for that app. Again, if we are having issues with the Chrome application, we would clear the cache for that app and then clear storage for that app. We can just go ahead and tap the clear all data button to go back to the home screen. Now this time when we open up the Chrome application or the camera application, it will be as if that application was open for the first time. If you are still experiencing those type of lags and crashes and freeze type of issues, then yes, it is recommended that you do a factory data reset. Almost 99% of the time that factory data reset will assuredly fix any type of weird issues that are not normal for an Android install, especially a newly installed over the air update. Alternatively, you still have the option to use different browsers as we talked about in from the comments. You can use Chrome beta and it's just almost identical to the stable version of Chrome. It's going to let you log into your account. It'll sync all of your tabs, your passwords, all of that. And there are a, min, are a number of good camera applications and even Google camera ports that you can use like PX camera or camera PX. I forget the name. But there you have it. That is a couple of troubleshooting steps that you can do to try to fix any type of lag or user experience issues that your applications are currently having after you have updated your Google Pixel smartphone to Android 11.